Man, it's your girl D. We're gonna be reacting to this group called Peaches and Herb. Um, I'm guessing it's like, I don't, I guess she's Peaches and he's Herb, you know, but um, I say new because I don't know who the group is, you guys. This is like my third time, like, trying to get this video out for you guys because, like, every time I do, it's always somebody calling me in the midst of recording for you guys. I ain't even gotten through this whole video yet, but make sure you follow me on my Instagram, make sure you follow me on my TikTok. It will be in the link in the description in the bio. Also, I have Snapchat, but it's not in the bio because it'll be a lot of spam going on, a lot of person ain't going on, you gotta be safe. So let's react to Peaches and Herb. Peaches and Herb. Such a lonely ride The breakup we had Has made me lonesome and sad I realize I love you Cause I want you back yeah, yeah. I spent the evening with the radio Regret the moment that I left
because he was like, you know, kissing all on her neck in this performance and stuff like that. You know, she seeming like she was liking it, you know, but, <laughs> but, or maybe they probably, you know, married and stuff, you know, still right now, or maybe they probably just dated, you know, during that time, that era and stuff like that. But I definitely enjoyed the chemistry between them two. I definitely enjoyed the love and the atmosphere. You know, it definitely seemed like they, you know, dated each other at that time or probably, you know, now in this modern time too. Um, it was just good to see black love and, you know, uh, just black power and just seeing them perform together. They reminded me of uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, who made that song with this girl. I can't think of her name right now. It's called uh, Ain't No Mountain High. Uh, I forgot her name. It started with a T. I just can't think of it. But they, them two remind me of uh, Marvin Gaye and the, and the girl, you know, but without like the kissing on the neck and stuff like that, you know, like without, you know, Marvin Gaye doing that, you know, to the girl and stuff, you know, but that's who these two remind me of. But I definitely enjoyed this performance. They killed it. It was amazing. It was beautiful. I liked the fact that both of their voices were different, sounded so different, but it combined it so well together. Like... The lyrical and conspiracy and, and everything that they had within their voices and the range that they was like throwing back at each other, it all gelled so well together. It wasn't like, the, nah, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do that picture, or you shouldn't go that high. Like everything went so freaking well together. It was so crystal clear. It was beautiful, especially her voice. Like just how when she first hit that first note, it was just so beautiful. I enjoyed both of them. And um, with that being said, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on my TikTok. It'll be in the link in the description in the bio. Even if you guys don't follow me, just go check me out. I also have Snapchat, but it's not in the bio because there'll be a lot of spam going on, a lot of pressing going on. And you gotta be safe. So, we out. Peace.